you guys know that probably my most anticipated movie at this point and has been for a little bit. I, I was even more anticipating this than Spider-Man No Way Home was the new Matt Reeves, The Batman. Everything they have been showing about The Batman has had me giddy with joy and anticipation. Right from, I mean, look, when we found out that Ben Affleck was no longer going to be around, a little st storm cloud of rain fell on my head, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then we all kind of waited to find out. <laughs> With the Charlie Brown Just over there. Right. <laughs> With the sad <laughs> bah, 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 piano music as I'm walking around all sad. But, you know, when then we started trying to wait for, okay, so who's going to be the guy who's going to be the person to come in and direct it after him. And then we found out it's going to be Matt Reeves. Okay, look, I would, I would much rather have Ben Affleck, but if it's got to be anybody else, Matt Reeves is a pretty damn good pick. And then they selected Robert Pattinson. And of course, everybody knows what I'm going to say now. <laughs> they had the whole world in use it. Twilight boy. <laughs> well, they went and got the Twilight boy. Oh, well, Why would hey. they get the Twilight boy? <laughs> but, that's, but that's all anybody thought because so many people have not been watching this incredible catalog of movies that Robert Pattinson has been doing for like the last 10 years that has made him like top of the list of every director in Hollywood who wants to work with him. Then the first trailer dropped and we were all like, okay, even the doubters. It's like, you know, that Twilight boy is not bad. <laughs> like, even the doubters were starting to go, okay, maybe this works. And then the second trailer came out, and we were like, oh, my God, Batman is a horror movie. Where Batman so... is the supernatural serial killer. Like, that's kind of, it came, it had that vibe yeah. to it. And then kind of out of nowhere, today, totally unexpected, unless I missed something. They dropped a new trailer today. And it's awesome they're calling it the cat and the bat trailer and <laughs> it looks phenomenal it covers every angle about this that it should be covering from like even like one of the other cops going we can't be trusting this guy he's a freaking vigilante to all the cool kind of flirty dark flirt flirtations that happen between batman and catwoman um some great moments um with uh oh why am i forgetting the name of uh andy circus with some great moments with andy circus as alfred um more action the vis when he grabs the gun off the guy and starts beating the living <laughs> hell out of him with that gun like all these batman trailers have been showing us this dark visceral violent side to him the riddler is becoming more like when i first heard the riddler was going to be um paul dano yeah what was going to be the 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 uh the kind of the villain of the film. I was like, really? Riddler? They couldn't do better than Riddler? And then they find out Paul Dano's going to play Riddler. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. That that could be something pretty cool. And they've slowly been revealing more and more of Riddler to us. And it's like, okay, yeah, I'm so on board. This is a seven Batman movie. This is a, um, what's, a, what's that one with um, Martin... Morgan Freeman, I mean, uh, where he's the detective about the serial killer, uh, a kiss the girls. This is like a kiss the girls, Batman mm -hmm. movie, right? Like it's got all that flavor to it. And I'm watching this trail. And like I'm just, I, I've been waiting for the Batman to kind of miss a step, mm -hmm. right? I've been waiting for the Batman to lose its footing or to finally put out something that looks really cheesy and kind of cringy. They ain't done it. Everything just seems to one up itself. And I am literally losing my mind waiting for this. And at the end of this trailer, great joy, because you realize this thing's coming in like three and a half months. I know. I mean, less than that. So like about three months, this thing's coming. Right? Less than three months from now, we're going to have this Batman movie, you know, God willing, and we don't have any more theater closures and delays and whatever. But, but that being said, I am so excited for this. Ray, you had a chance. You saw, you watched this Batman. First first of all, I'm not going to let you get away with it. I'm going to tell everybody what you said. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody what Ray no, said. Oh, no, that's behind. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> fine. Go ahead. You know, I'll, let you tell, I'll let you tell them yourself. What's the first thing you said when you watched this trailer? I said, that's a dope tr Twilight 4 trailer. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is that girl in the mask? Is that Bella? And he meant it. No, too. no. But, um, <laughs> like, um, look, um, 
the place like Gotham itself, it looks violent. Oh, it looks so good. And like it, like the one thing uh, um about I forgot which Batman was where it just feels like everyone's a criminal in the city. Yeah. And Batman is just totally outnumbered. That's what I sense like throughout all this trailer. It's like violence everywhere. Yeah. Um also there's no sun in Gotham. I don't think the sun comes out. <laughs> I mean, every place is not. Well, I guess, uh, okay, he only comes out at night. I get it. Okay, so I just figured that out. I figured it out. He only comes out at night. Okay, so that makes sense. But yeah, it looks good. I like the violence in there. It feels like every time he slams someone, there's like spines cracking. Did, do you notice that? Yeah. Even when he slammed Catwoman, it was like. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. everyone's back is broken in Batman for sure. Oh, yeah. But. You know, look number good. one, no sun. Number two, everybody's back is broken. Yeah. No, it looks good. The part where he's just I don't know what he was uh holding. Was that like a bat or something? A he gun, had? I thought it was. Was like, it a gun? I thought so. He, he was just it. wailing on guys like he's left, he flipped it and crowd. then used it like a hammer. And then there was that yeah. one uh hallway scene where the two guys were sh were they shooting at him and he's yeah. just walking through. He's just like again, that's kind of like he is the supernatural he's killer just... from a from a horror movie now. Yeah, right? I, I know, John, you don't like animated like uh dc animated stuff but this reminds me so much of batman year one it's crazy like uh just like the whole whole tone the detectiveness of it there's going to be some detective elements well, I, mean, to it you're, sure. I mean that's a good point because year one that he's clear he's said before that is definitely one of the major influences especially uh, of it as well especially with the riddler being the main uh yeah the, the main villain of yeah. course he's gonna have to figure out stuff with clues and things like that but yeah i thought it looked great Maybe it's worthy of ticket watch. I was asking. I mean, ticket Not watch. Sure. We, we have to wait until it gets closer. So we'll see. Kimberly, you you had a chance. You watched this. We all gathered around the computer and watched it all together this morning before the show started. What did you think of this trailer? Oh, man. First of all, I'm really excited to get what I felt like it was a really full trailer that's telling a different side of the story because we got a first look um, and then we did get a trailer. But I felt like the first look was some awesome, awesome clips. But this to me is putting together a better idea of what the score, the story is going to be without giving it all away. And I agree with you, Ray, because I believe Matt Reeves said we're going to dive more into how Batman is a detective. And even with Christopher Nolan's films, which high praise, you didn't feel that much of Batman as a detective. Whereas I think we're going to get that and we're gonna, really going to get that. Um, I, I agree with you. It's got kind of that 90s thriller vibe to it, that kind of 90s whodunit, a little bit of action, but more so just thriller. What the hell is going on? But when I think about everyone who's in this film with Paul Dano and Colin Farrell and how everyone's so unrecognizable, I'm just so excited to see how this plays out. And I, Ray, you were saying earlier, it looks like more of a romance. There's, there's some. It looks like there's some romance and in I there. Totally like, it definitely is. You. Yeah, I yeah. totally agree with you. But I didn't get that really from the trailers before, and from right. this one, I'm like, oh yeah, this is what we're gonna see. So I'm, I'm really, really pumped. It I'm looked excited. like the. Oh, sorry. It looked like the first half of that trailer was all about the cat in the bat ro romance angle, right? Like yeah. The first I mean, half, which they haven't touched. And on then it yet. went to violence. Yeah. Like it went from love to violence, like Which, straight you know, up. You know, it's true of any good romance movie, I suppose. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, but you're but that is a part of this story that they kind of kind of glossed over in the first couple of trailers, right? Like they didn't really spend a lot of time focusing on that romantic relationship. But I mean, anybody who knows Batman understands the Batman Catwoman stuff. So I, I just thought they're adding new elements. There yep. is each trailer comes out, they're giving just a little bit more of an idea about okay. There's Batman and he's violent. Okay, but now we're starting to get a grasp of the story. And for the first time, they gave us a little bit more insight into what the history of the Waynes yeah. has to do with it and what's the connection of the Waynes. Like there's something there. There's some kind of big secret that Alfred has to come clean about. Yeah, yeah, that part. That They and, looked like they had some sort of conflict in that trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, not just like a small argument, like they're butting heads on some particular issue and right. when i heard that andy circus was cast i was like excited because he's one of my favorite actors because he he brings something new to the industry as a whole i mean how many things has he invented that have changed the way that films yeah. are done but seeing more of him in this i'm like this is why he's such a good casting for alfred i love it also after the first trailer I, I, I sense that Catwoman was just a cameo, but after this trailer, it seems oh, like she's yeah, a no, way she's bigger part of this full, movie yeah. than I initially thought. I thought she would pop in, then they'll have a little struggle, and then she would go away. That'll be it. Yes. But she's a part of the story. It actually looks like she's a part of this The seed story. of Lenny Kravitz has a major <laughs> role to play in this film. 
By the way, how stupid unfair is, is how much talent is in that family? Oh, God. Like, how Not stupid? The talent, but <laughs> she looks great. You know how they, oh, yeah. they say there's that urban legend, like, if you have two hot parents, the kid's going to come out like, mm, not that hot. <laughs> Totally, totally yeah, blasted that. She got the, the best of Lisa Bonet and the best of Lenny Kravitz. That is the hottest kid. Oh, my God. She's beautiful. Um. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What did you think about this new Batman trailer? I thought it was freaking awesome. What are you guys feeling about it? Are you as excited about it as me? Whatever you guys are thinking, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.